everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and if you're new here, I make DIY fashion videos every week. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you never miss out on a new video. Today I'm going to be transforming and fixing up clothes I already own at home to create a new wardrobe for zero dollars. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. This is the first dress that has been in my closet forever now and I never wear anymore mainly because I don't like the high neck. So I'm going to do a quick transformation and change the neckline. I mark how low I want it to be in the front and back and add seam allowance before cutting across. And notice that I kept the armhole seam at the bottom. Take some black elastic and lightly stretch and sew it to the new neckline. This way, it pulls it together and it's not stretched out. Next, I use the same black elastic as the new straps and will tack it down to the corners in the front and in the back. The straps will fit snug and stretch to hug your body. To sew it down, I just sewed a square shape over the elastic at all four corners and I'm finished. Here is the before and after. The high neck was hard to pair with clothes all year, especially living in California. But with these skinny straps, I can create many more outfits. Next are these pair of wide leg pants that Eric's mom brought back for me from Thailand. I never got a chance to wear them because they're a little too big at the waist for me, but luckily it's a super quick and easy fix. The backside has elastic at the waist, which I'm going to leave as is. And instead of just facing the side seams together and taking it in, I'm going to pinch in the front side and sew next to the side seam. This way, we're not sewing over the elastic band, which would create a bulky seam on top. Notice how I'm folding the front side of the pants facing together and pinning the seam down next to the original side seam. Then as you sew, you would sew as close as you can to the original side seam. And that's it! I'm not even going to trim the extra material away because I can always undo the seam later to make it a bigger size if needed. Lastly, this was a dress that I quick fixed in the past, but recently I've been wishing it was a top instead of a dress. I've tried tucking it into my high-waisted bottoms, but the waist seam is a lot higher on the dress so it shows when I tuck it in. So I decided I'm just going to transform it into a top. First, seam rip the waist seam and separate the skirt from the top. Originally, I was going to create a waistband to tie the crossover top together, but it kind of got confusing, so I kept it simple and will just stretch and sew elastic along the bottom and then fold it over to hem the raw edges. And there you have it, a very easy way to turn your dress into a top without doing too much work. I love the print and color of this fabric and since I still have the skirt left over, I decided I would turn it into a cowl neck tank top. Turn the fabric so that you are draping it diagonally on the bias and then just play around with how you want the cowl neck to look like. Once you figured out the shape, pin it down on the princess seam and decide how loose or fitted you want it to be as you pin down the side seam. 
I want mine to be a loose fitted tank so that I can just throw it over. Plus, if I make it fitted, I'll need to add zippers or some kind of closure to get in and out of it since my fabric has no stretch. For the back side, I just draped a simple back piece that goes straight across. Then mark out your design. The side seams, center back, the top corners where the straps will attach, and the center front. Lay your design down and true up all the markings before cutting it out. I like to focus on truing up one side and then you can fold it in half so that both sides will be even when you cut it out. You want to leave the triangle shape in the front because that's what creates the cowl neck draping. Next, sew the front and back side seams together and the center back. All of my pieces are different shapes and the seams aren't lined up right now, but it's all just part of the process. I normally won't cut or trim anything until I know that the design is going to work out. Before we can add the straps, go ahead and hem all the raw edges along the top. To create the straps, I cut two strips on bias that are one and a half inches wide, folded them in half, and sewed the open side down. My straps are about a quarter inch wide. After that, trim some of the seam allowance away and use a loop turner to flip it inside out. Fold the cowl neck under and place the straps behind the corner and tack them down. Then trim the straps evenly once they fit you and mark where they will sit in the back. To sew the straps down, I fold the ends under so that the raw edges aren't exposed. And then I sewed a square to attach it to the top. Now that we can fully try on the top, I can evenly trim the bottom away and hem all the raw edges. Here is the finished top. so much for watching i hope this video inspires you to transform your old clothes and give it a new life or just simply fix it up so you can wear it again and as usual don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more diy fashion and i'll see you guys next time bye